Hello everyone and welcome to my new video and what is this video about? Well I'm going to show you how to do one of my favourite things which I've done I don't know how many times in videos and that is chop up classic jungle breaks in Nedit. Nedit is a Max for Live device I made which is available now and it chops up audio because that's all I care about in life. So I've got a drum loop here. Well actually it's four classic drum breaks which I've snipped together into a neatly quantized nugget of Juicy, buttery, lovely, breaky. And I'm just going to put a limiter on my master track and audio files out there are going to have kittens, but I don't care. So, right. Um, okay, let's drop that in there. And that drum break is four bars long. So I'm going to tell Nedit that it is four bars long. And let's start it. So, what do we want to do? Let's set some slices. What about all these? Okay, 16. Uh, 32 maybe? Uh, let's go for 16. Okay, so why don't we use the popular sequencer for the slice tab and create a little sequence. See what we get. Let's quickly jump to the loops tab and uh, set a loop length of two. Oh, let's turn the main probability up. There we go. Okay. Always turn the main probability up. I keep forgetting. It's not very obvious. I might make it more obvious. Okay, let's go. All right, so let's sequence. Let's sequence a little drum break pattern. Let's move around. So with the, uh, with the popular sequencer, um, the slice offsets will be determined by what the highest and through to the lowest values are. So if I just do something like this, you'll see that it will cycle, which is nice. So, okay, so why don't we say that we want, uh, okay, let's, let's use the popular sequencer for the loops as well. So let's start with this. And let's maybe, let's maybe try. F there we go. We're starting to get somewhere. Already, already we're creating jungle. Right, okay, let's bring in a new slice point. Okay, let's turn the clock down for this a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. All right, this is great. So let's maybe s introduce another loop. Yeah, I love it. Let's maybe introduce, let's go to the playbacks tab and we'll use the probability playback. We'll introduce a little bit of reverse. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try some effects now. Let's try the flange. Let's keep it on probability for this one. Let's just introduce a bit of flange. Let's introduce a little bit of uh, stretch. Yeah. Okay, let's introduce some pitch down. Yeah. 
some more effects now. Let's try the filter. Okay, let's bring in the drum bus. Let's put the drum bus on here. Everyone loves the drum bus. getting a little bit too fat for me. Right, okay, let's uh, get back to the slices and maybe try a different selection of slice points now. So basically, Nedit is a really great way to sound like 1996 in five minutes. Yeah, that's what we want. That's what I want. It's, what, it's just what I want. Actually, it's just what I want. So we can get even deeper. We can um, start to get really... Uh, a lot of that kind of old jungle used to do that kind of... Brrr sort of uh, dipping, toing and froing with the uh, volume of the slices that were looped really, really tight. They probably weren't looped. They were probably just sequenced really, 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 really tightly in the sequencer. So we can do that just by um, selecting a load of really tight loop points. And using the, uh, using the rise and fall. Yeah, I love that. Oh no, I ruined it. I hit the min and max button by mistake. Oh well. It's not hard to get quite granular quite quickly, quite, quite quickly. Where, what was that? What was that ding? Was that my pizza? It's just getting a bit silly now. So let's actually just reset everything um, and maybe have a look at what we can do with push. I just turn push on. Ugh. And maybe we can get a little bit bonkers with the with those old knobs. Okay. So we can use the knobs to move around the slice point like this. You can't see my mouse right now, but you can see that I'm moving around it. So we can kind of perform a little bit with it. We don't have to use the probability sliders at all or any of the sequences. We can just zoom around. Let's have a listen to that, see what that sounds like. Let's maybe go to some loops here and set the loops to two. There we go. Now we can move around. But we have to remember that when we're using the knobs, the rate down here actually works as a quantize for how often the knobs update. So for the slice, let's set it to 8n, which is the same as the, currently the same as the uh, loop length. Well, actually, the rate of the loop length is going at one bar, but 
we're using a loop length of two beats, which is the same as eighth notes. So let's have a listen to that, see what that's like. We can whiz around. And then we can do the same for the playback. If I go to the playback tab, I can still move around the slice points with push, but I can also control the playbacks with the knob as well. See, like this. So let's do that now. Let's start it and knob out. Of course, we can do the same thing for the effects as well. My my mic clamp has gone a bit wibbly wobbly. I'm kind of holding on to it. I feel a bit like, like Tim Westwood. Oh, that's not how we used to talk, actually. That's stupid. So that is one of the ways that you can use Nedit. You can just do utter break or carnage with it. And everyone still likes that, don't they? Or maybe just people under 30. And me. Lonely people. Okay, see you next time. Bye.